Hello, probably no one, and welcome back to what I think. So, new season of Fortnite dropped a couple days ago. I was doing a whole bunch of stuff with family over the weekend. That's why I couldn't make any videos about it sooner. But I thought, you know, I'd get a few days' experience with the game with the new season before I made any judgment. So I'm going through the battle pass, as you can see. You know, it's honestly the battle pass is kind of meh to me. Uh, all the stuff is all, all. There are no emotes, no emotes. That that is new, actually. And the coolest thing you can do is that turn into Iron Man. You, oh well, um, no, I take that back. The blue lady can turn into your dead opponent opponents if you, once you kill them, you can turn into them, which I think is pretty neat. But, I mean, other than that, it's kind of meh, because the gliders are exclusive to the character, only they can take, the, only they can wield it. Most of the pickaxes are exclusive, Groot's and She-Hulk's pickaxes are not exclusive to their characters. All of the gliders, except one, is exclusive. And uh, the exclusive gliders are pretty cool. They're kind of different. If you want to look at them, look at them for yourself, you lazy chicken nugget. You can just pull up Fortnite, go on to the battle pass, and look at it yourself. It's meh because everything is pretty much everything is exclusive to that character. Now, that's that's kind of it for the battle pass. I mean, it's it's kind of meh. It's not that good, and um. I know people that love Avengers are going crazy right now. They are just absolutely ecstatic. And they just can't believe their eyes that they can be Iron Man in Fortnite. I mean, I kind of saw it coming once they started advertising that you could even be a superhero in the original s Season 4. I was like, huh, what if they added actual Avengers? And then they did two Avengers events without bringing anything out. And then they did, brought out some actual Avengers, the, some of the skins from Season 9, I believe, that you could be, like, Star-Lord or something like that. I don't even know. For some reason, you can't be Thanos, though. I want to be the Great Grape. That'd be fun. Uh, that's the only skin that I'd actually buy, besides Spider-Man. Spider-Man's my man. He's, he's, a, he's a cool dude. That's the only Marvel movie that I will ever, only ever watch. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anyway. Uh, there are also these little Iron Man things that are kind of all around the map. Right now they're glowing. I do not know why. Might be something to do with the storyline. There hasn't been a storyline yet in season... In uh, chapter 2, I should say. Well, I mean, there's kind of one, but then it died... And I think now it's completely dead. There was like the alter ego thing, and then it turned into Ghost and Shadow, and then now yeah, they're nowhere to be found. I have no idea what what the heck happened. There are still kind of henchmen now, but instead of henchmen, they are like Tony Stark's little robot people. They're little robots, and you can go to the ships and uh, either kill them or hack them hack them and if you hack them they'll be your buddies and they'll shoot at the bad guys that you are trying to kill so like and uh, the new weapons new weapons well there's only one technical new weapon and it's the Stark energy rifle this thing is overpowered I'm very sure that Fortnite is going to nerf it I hope they don't but it's kind of imminent because if it's good, it's it's gonna get it's gonna get trashed, it's gonna get nerfed. And Fortnite's gonna execute it with a nerf gun, I bet. Kind of like how Rainbow Six Siege did to Blackbeard, how his shield could take like 15 shots, but now it can take two, which really sucks. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So, those are the two new weapons. But there are a lot of unvaulted weapons. The unvaulted weapons include revolvers, scoped assault rifles, pump shotguns, uh, tech SMGs. They also put in a little 
little cancer stick. They took out tax shotguns, which is kind of like Fortnite dropping vape. And you should drop vape if you have a con- if you have a uh, problem with it. If you have a problem with anything, you should really get help. But it's kind of like Fortnite dropped vaping and then uh, picked up actual cigarettes, which is bad. You shouldn't do that. So, yeah, Fortnite picked up a cancer stick, and uh, I did as well. I have it in my hand. I picked it up just to show you the unvaulted weapons. So, you know, yeah, that's uh, that's an unvaulted weapon. Some of the unvaulted uh, things that are not weapons it are the boogie bombs and the bounce pads and the shockwave grenades. Also, some more unvaulted weapons. I did this in the first recording. I forgot. But there are a lot of unvaulted weapons. Another one is the LMG. The LMG is it's pre- it's pretty good. I do say, you know, it's not the best, but it'll do. It'll do. You know what I'm saying? So that's I think it. But if it's not, I have them all that I took a screenshot of and probably forgot up up on screen. And I was too lazy to take a screenshot of any of these, so I just have the list of them named off up on screen now. So, I mean, yeah, that's, um, it's kind of it. That's kind of it for this season. Uh, they have these two little islands. They're not even islands. They're kind of, I have no idea what they are, but they're, like, sticking out of the ground. It's weird. I don't know why they're here, but some people just say it's because of Ant-Man. Or something like that. The first one kind of looks like it was like a futuristic thing. Because the truck looks different from the trucks that are in the game now. And the other one is a... Is probably Ant-Man. Yeah, I will have to go with that. But there's some eggs in the chamber of uh, this other island. I don't know what that's going to do. But it will probably do something. So, anyway, that's what I think. Also, uh, Fortnite may have listened to my video about a, about two months back about uh, how cop cars were removed. You know, remember that you remember that video with uh, almost two thousand views now. That's that's actually really cool. So, um, cop cars may be coming back. Uh, from the little season four trailer, I can see cop cars in the back. And I think Fortnite is like, eh, well, maybe we were being retards about this, and maybe no one actually cares if uh, if cop cars are he are removed from the game. And now, with uh, the ability to drive cars, I would really like to see what happens uh, since we can drive cars now. I think that'd be really cool. Play a game of cops and robbers, you know, or uh, station yourself on the side of the road and see if you can catch any speeders. You know what I'm saying? So, now, for real this time, that's what I think.